2009, I got into a accident. I was trying to go to a job interview. I got hit by a semi-truck riding my bicycle. I um, hit the left side of my head and I had a brain injury. And the bike went underneath and stopped the impact of me getting hit, hit, it was really shocking. They said I didn't have no broken bones. They was like, we never seen this. And when people get hit by semi trucks, they, they really like broke their limbs. They told me God saved my life and I'm grateful for that. And half of my friends just called me Iron Man. You did more damage to the semi truck than yourself. I had to have therapy, a speech therapy, and try to route that until um, 2010. They wanted me to go to a place that can really help me out. And so I went to origami and origami taught me more stuff. And that's when they uh, chose Peckham. I just like started the Peckham. First I was doing the, the, the trimming. After uh, 2011, everybody was getting laid off. So I had to wait for like a year until they called me in and say, you can choose a different position. I chose a custodian because I, I like to do cleaning and I just loved it. And I kept on going in until the, uh, they switched me to the represented uh, building of the government. I get a lot of credits for people saying thank you for cleaning our, our, our building. We're grateful for it. And I just said, you know, I'm gonna keep on going with it. I've been doing my kitchen pretty much. They got a lot of kitchen, so it, it's pretty busy. And I'm grateful to just have a job. And I started my art when uh, elementary, and then I got into more uh, into it and I liked it. I was just doing it for fun and it just grew to me. I met a friend and he taught me all these uh, different shadings and grounds and I just loved it. Me and him, we was just connected. People would like see us and like, oh, can you get us this? Can you draw us this? So I was making business uh, doing drawing for people. I got to Peckham and I didn't know they had an art for art. I get to see people's art and I love their their art. And showing my art, it was people like, hey, you should show your arts out there because people would love it and they would give you much, much credit. That's how I, I grew into doing so much art. Markers is my favorite. Just having different uh, texture of the colors. And, and then I grew to love with paint too. So it's just like mixing different kind of unique colors until I got in into landscape and then tried to learn a more about that. So they're seeing the different surroundings. You know, this is uh, a talent and I should just keep flooring with it. If you waste too much of your talent and you got great potential and you, you don't want to show it, that's when you, you're messing up your whole life because you could make more progress with that. So I just kept on going. Every block of a road that I try to make it's going to be hard, but at least uh, you can still find that route and still get out of there. And that's what I've been doing for my whole years, especially after I got my brain injury. It was taking so much uh, total of me, but I just never quit because I know there are still things that I want to do and, and just love the joy. That's why I love art and that's why I kept motivation with it.